Uh, what's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, Anthony John Stewart has given his side of the Daniel Dubois sparring stories, in which leaked matchroom slash Team GB eyewitness claimed he was left on the jelly legs. Here we go, let's get to the quotes. Joshua has remained silent on the topic for several years, but during an interview with Sky Sports ahead of his upcoming clash with Dubois on September 23rd, <coughs> the Watford Powerhouse gave his side of the story. He just cracked me with a good shot. I stood on my feet, he said. I don't know where this whole narrative of someone turned my lights off came from. There were a lot of people in the gym that day as well, and people have come out and said, Nah, nothing happened. Well, they've also said you got clipped and you was on skates and the bar could have put your spark out. That's what irritated me. But anyway, people say what they say. With me, there's always been like an inch that makes a mile. But it's all good, it's all good. With me, there's always been like an inch that makes a mile. Oh, so you was clipped then? I said the day. I did a video on Anthony Fowler, Matchroom, slash... Team GB informant leaking the fact that Dubois hit him on the side of his Humpty Dumpty and he was on skates. He was on that newborn Bambi on ice flex. That's what Anthony Fowler referenced. Anthony John Stewart looked like a newborn Bambi on a ice skating rink. Not my words. That's coming from a matchroom slash Team GB informant leaked. Okay. So, anyway, in that video, talking on that the specificities, specificities of Anthony Fowler's allegations. I mentioned the fact that whenever AJ talks about it, he don't deny he got rocked to his boots. I mean, he said it, to be fair to him. He cracked me with a good shot. And he also puts in a caveat, I stood on my feet. So he's like, I didn't get knocked out. But yeah, no one denying you got... Even Anthony Fowler, the Team GB matchroom informant, he didn't say he was on the floor convulsing. Like Martin Bacoli versus Joe Joyce. Doubled over in the spit bucket. Head in the spit bucket. <laughs> spewing up after big Joe Joyce touched him to the body. No one said that. What they did say is, and what you haven't addressed. Someone needs to put it on Johnson. Johnson, were your legs jelly or not? Simple as that. Again, we can all sit here and say, well, it don't matter. It don't matter until it does. What's relevant here is... You can talk about Dubois leaky. You can talk about AJ's got a massive right hand. The point is, there's nothing coming from the other side. No one's saying, yeah, but why be? When Dubois sparred AJ, AJ hit him with the right hand because he hits him with the right hand and Dubois was on skates. That's not what's being talked about. And if it happened, say that then. AJ says there's many people in the gym. You best believe there must have been loads of AJ shields in there. So why haven't the AJ shields come out and said, well, we hit you with the right hand that you're leaky to? Oops. So even at 20 years old, Dubois, and it's possible that AJ was kind of nursing the young 20-year-old Dubois. Possible. Not what I've heard, though. I've heard AJ's a demon in the sparring. And yeah, that's how he got his name. He's a sparring demon. He beat people up in sparring. Dave Allen said that. He punched the head off him. Dave Allen said Tyson Fury would kind of have good rounds, but quality rounds. And he said when he got up to the Team GB thing, they'd treat him like a piece of meat, like a big heavy bag. That's what they said. So AJ ain't got no problem punching bunch of people up. AJ was... In fact, AJ on record punched Tyson Fury up in sparring. He punched Dave Allen up in sparring, to name a few. No problem with that. All of a sudden, you're near with Dubois, and we have to believe that AJ didn't want to punch him up for whatever reason. All of a sudden, AJ became Mahatma Gandhi in there. and didn't want to fight. No. So all that talk about the right hand, where was it in this spar? Oops. And that was then. You'd like to think Don Charles and AJ, I mean, Don Charles and Dubois have worked on something. That said, I will not be surprised if Dubois comes in there like this at all. Because that's really how it normally goes. Fighters don't really change too much. AJ's had glaring holes and hasn't changed them. Yeah, his right hand, he pulls it down and slings it off. Even in the Nganu fight, he pulls it down and slings it off. Which is cool when you're fighting stiff wrestlers. But he wasn't able to get it off against Usyk. Which is the point. Loading up like that, there's a time and place for it. It's not every shot. Just touch the guy. You're big and strong enough. You don't need to be. It's the ones you don't see. Everyone. That's why Brazil... Yeah... AJ couldn't put Brazil out. He went on for like seven rounds. And he was pummeling him. 
but they're all like, Rrr! it's all stressed. Whereas Wilder went in there, and it was the one he didn't see. Straight down, it kind of whips. Wilder whipped Brazil. AJ tried to pummel him, and that's the problem with pummeling power. It's obvious, you're tense. So, anyway, the, the point is, fighters, especially 30 year olds, or even De Bois' age, they don't really change how they fight from fight to fight. They are who they are at that point. I've said already, even if Dubois comes in there doing what he normally does, I don't think it's going to be how you think it is. I don't think, oh, do I be Dubois leaky and AJ's going to put his lights out the first time he touches him? He didn't put Dubois on jelly legs in the spa the first time he touched him or any time. Right? AJ hasn't put loads of people out that he's touched. Didn't put Ruiz out. Didn't put Hellenius out. Didn't put Wallen out the first time he touched him. But yet we have to believe that Dubois, the first thing he sees from AJ, he's going to be spark out. Dubois always had a chin. His heart hasn't been the biggest, but he's had a chin. He's not someone you're sceptical of, of being chinny. And one thing, the last thing I'll say actually is, I made a critique that boxers and their trainers don't really change over time, but we have to give Don Charles credit. Yeah, Whilst Dubois was crazy leaky to the right hand from Hergovic, to be fair to Don Charles, Don Charles has done something. Well, actually, I believe it's a combination between Don Charles and Dubois' dad. Getting that, getting that set up down pat. But either way, whoever you want to attribute it to, you've got to give it to both. His mind. The mind is the hardest thing to change. And after that Hergovic fight, I watched it back, yeah? I didn't have Dubois winning a round until the sixth. Certainly the fifth. He lost four rounds straight. And was getting pummeled for the first two or three. And Dubois stayed in there and actually got stronger. That's phenomenal. So really, if any team can do it, and Don Charles knows, he's been talking about publicly, we've got to work on something. It's not rocket science. It's obviously hard to implement, but ultimately, you have your guard tighter and your chin down more. Or you have to move your head. Move your head. I don't really agree with moving your feet so much. Stepping out of range, it's not going to be something you can always do, obviously. But sucking your hands in, you, you can't always get out of range. If it was that simple, everyone would just step in, get their work off and get out. You need to be able to defend yourself when you're in punching distance. That means your hands need to be tighter. Your parries and catches have got to be going. And all your head's got to be moving. Those are the three options. So it's not like we're sitting here and there's a million options and we're not sure which one to do. There's three things you, and you can work on all of them at the same time. You can practice getting ready for the right hand. You can practice sucking up tight and catching it. You can practice parrying the right hand. So really there's no excuse for Dubois not to show marked improvements if I'm honest. I'd have Dubois in there, yeah, just catching right hands all day. All day. I'd have him in there for 12 rounds in the warm-up. And have some a few balls in the ring with him. Just slinging the right hand at him. All day and night. Slinging the right hand at him. And him getting ready to count on the left hook. Oh, 12 rounds of it. Yeah, four big balls. Three around each. You get in there. And Dubois is going to find a way to get out of the right hand. Away from the right hand. That's his job. He, he quickly learned. How to get out of the way. He'll be knocked out. Right? <laughs> it's one or the other, man. What don't kill you make you stronger. So Dubois is either dead by now, training with a YB, or he know what a right hand looked like and what to do with it. Listen, the sparring stories, we know the cliche, they don't matter. They don't matter until they do. Yeah. I'm not saying, I've watched back. After I watched AJ versus Wallin back, I thought this guy's washed. Then I watched Hergovic versus Dubois back. And I'm glad I did. Because I was certain after doing... I did a whole documentary an hour on AJ versus... Well, I did an AJ breakdown of his right hand. Of his fight behaviour. His confidence and whatnot. And I wasn't impressed. Looking back at how he used to fight before Ruiz and after. He's scared now. Yeah. In that documentary I showed you that... AJ rocked Wallin in the fifth round. And AJ was the one backing up, giving Wallin space. Now they call it the new age. The Ben... Mr. Maggie, the Ben Diamato Davidson, tell us, that, oh, it's IQ. No, that's a guy who's scared. 
AJ was in there kind of fluffing a jab at, at Wallen, a man who's rocked. There's a balance between IQ and shitting yourself. And AJ leans much further towards the shit himself. Bottom line. Now, the Ngannou fight, okay. Like I said before many times, there's a, poss- there's a possibility that AJ's on a trend now. You've got Wallen here, which was an improvement from all the other CAC fights like Hellenius. Then you've got Ngannou and potentially something magical might happen. I, I think not. I mean, besides, if something magical happens from AJ... If he shows, comes through the fire. Will I give AJ credit if he clips the bar and knocks him spark out? <sighs> Probably, yeah. I'll have to give him some credit, but I'll be sceptical. I'll be sceptical. And I want to make sure, let me tell you now, Team Dubois, yeah? December 22nd. You need to book yourself in for a full scan. A full panel blood test. That's what you need to do. You have it booked in. September 22nd, I'm checking. I'd put it out there publicly. A Turkey, A Massa Hearns. Oh, you need to know. September 22nd, I'm having my blood tested. So don't bother putting nothing in my drink or putting nothing through the air conditioning. Yeah? I'm being tested because you ain't hitting me with that Nganu lick like last time. Nganu's like, oh, I feel, uh, oh, homie, I feel tired. I'm tired. Yeah? Well, sorry, look, it knocked out and shit. That's what they need to do. Zingano, he he, he complain, but ain't get his full panel blood test. He just whining somewhere. But yeah, if it's let's say for example, the best case scenario for AJ, and in, uh, there's no doubt I'll give him massive credit. If AJ goes in there, yeah, takes some shots, fights, and then wins, I'll give him credit. If AJ takes some shots and then shits himself, and point and boxes to a points decision like Ruiz too. Do not come here looking for credit. I'm not interested at all. Not interested. Because ultimately, that isn't going to beat you, sick. Hate to break it to you, Anthony Masexuals. If you think AJ getting in there with Dubois and doing a Ruiz 2 on him means anything, it doesn't. Because he's still going to be a bum. He ain't going to beat Usyk with that. He's not. He's not going to outbox Usyk. I don't care what Ben Davidson puts in his head. The way he beats Usyk is he uses size, no back steps. Pop, pop, literally, uh, 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 go back for what? Yeah? You meet, you stand in the centre of the ring and you plod forward like Carrot Top. And you're bigger than you, sit. Get that jab going. Ag- oppressively. Yeah? We ain't going back from the middle of the ring. If you think wants to come meet you in the centre, you stand there and you post up. Or you, you engage, right? Because really, that Usyk fight, the second one, or whatever fight, Usyk wasn't boxing his head off. He was kind of just, he was there. Usyk wasn't on the ropes, for example. He wasn't doing a Shakur Sleevenson, just running around, or he wasn't doing a Terence Crawford versus Madrimov, running around. Usyk was right there. So AJ should have said, all right, let's fight then. He didn't want to do that. So I need to see, I need to see AJ take some shots and look to fight and have a go. That's the spirit and the skills that can have a chance with Usyk. You, and this, again, I think AJ could go in there and shit himself and beat Dubois. I do. I think AJ is actually the better... People talk about Dubois' jab, but it's ponderous. It's quite slow. AJ has the better jab in terms of a point-scoring jab. It's not a power jab. He, he, he can power jab, but AJ's got. He, AJ's a better outboxer. I've never seen Dubois do what AJ did against Ruiz. I think, and then again, to be fair to Dubois, you can argue that Usyk was just getting going. But Dubois was in the mix with Usyk the first few rounds. It was nothing definitive though. So he, Dubois must be doing something right. It's not like Usyk got in there and was just playing with him. He was half in there. The rounds were kind of nonchalant. We don't really know what was going on. So anyway, my base case is AJ could shit himself and beat Dubois on points. <clears throat> not interested though. Really, Usyk stopped Dubois. Yeah. There's no reason AJ shouldn't, shouldn't stop Dubois. If AJ stops Dubois, and it's not... I'll give him credit. If AJ looks at the floor, bowls his hands over, hand over, and catches Dubois, he'll get credit for that. He has to get credit for that. I will still, however, be sceptical. He's going to beat Usyk with it. Which is what matters. Because you're not a champion if you beat Dubois. I hate to break it to people. You're not. You're a guy with a belt that was cooped from AJ. Cooped. Anyway... 
Let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That's just Anthony Fowler's quotes. Confirming that AJ was jelly-legged. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. And in fact, actually, sorry. Apologies for cucking you, man, on the ending. I'm just thinking, why was AJ saying to Dubois, I'm not going to fight you if it's not for a belt? Right, that was weird. What else has AJ got going on? At that point, Dubois is really the most popular guy. Right? Dubois beat Hergovic, who's a challenger, and Miller. What's anyone else done? You can say Zhang, but what's Zhang done? Zhang's beat Hergovic at that point. And a washed up Wilder. Sorry, Zhang's lost to Hergovic, lost to Parker, which is shocking. And beat a washed up Wilder and beat, who else did Zhang beat? Joe Joyce. So, and he, what, AJ wasn't going to fight Zhang anyway. So why is AJ so shook at Dubois? He should have been saying, and that again has been my problem with AJ. He don't just want to get it. He claimed, oh, I'm coming back and I'm going to cut through them all. Do that then. Say to Dubois. That's what Dubois was saying. Dubois was saying, with or without Usyk stolen belt, I'll fight Johnston. Johnston was saying, well, um, yeah, giving it to Donald Duck, giving it to Bugs Bunny. Why? Yeah, if it was just sparring and he's sweet and Dubois leaky to the right hand, AJ could have jumped at it and said, listen, hopefully we get the belt. If not, I still punch his ass up. He easy work. Or well, he just work for me. That's another day in the right hand office for me. I put the right hand right down the centre. Bah, she sleep. So he wasn't saying that. He was categorically saying, we're going to duck Dubois if it's not for a belt. Why? He was up next. So you'd rather fight a bum than fight Dubois for a belt. I'll tell you why. Because you know that left foot coming. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. Look off the bell, 100%. No doubt about it. People, stop it.